And I'm gonna have some good old strawberries while watching some E3. Hello guys, welcome to Monday. It's June the 9th and well, today's uh, homework day and trying to catch up day as well. And um, E3 is out, um, it's starting today and well I haven't, I actually did not get to go to the, I didn't, uh, I'm watching it online. Um, trying to get through the Microsoft conference uh, right now. First, um, I've only gone through the Call of Duty Advanced Warfighter. I know I'm not going to, I'm only, I'm practically going to leech this off of Justin whenever he gets the game and probably like his next gen system. I'd say Advanced Warfighter it looks pretty damn good. Not going to lie, even though people, a lot of people do not like the Call of Duty games. Um, I'm not one of them and um, I do enjoy Call of Duty at times. And Advanced Warfighter, or, well, whatever the next title is, looks pretty damn interesting. And um, yeah, I'm going to continue on watching this Microsoft thing. And this is probably going to relay throughout the entire week because I don't know if I'm going to do. Because I have to talk about. Because this is going to be the E3 vlog. Because I have no idea when I'm going to actually watch all the E3 stuff. So uh, I have no idea. So I have no idea what. Going to, what to expect, so um, continue on with E3. I'm just gonna keep myself blind until I actually watch the actual conference. So, so um, I just saw the Forza 5 and the Evolve trailer. Uh, Forza 5, I'm not really that much into the realistic racing game, that's why I play Mario Kart a lot. But um, it looks good, I guess, for the people that enjoy those games, so that's a plus, I guess. And then Evolve looks pretty interesting um, again I don't know if I'm gonna actually get an Xbox one but if I were to wear I don't know well I'm gonna keep on watching this anyways Thank you. new Assassin's Creed uh, new Assassin's Creed unity is coming out and that looks pretty pretty cool pretty really cool so Dragon Age Inquisition um, I haven't really played much Bioware games to be honest the only game I had played was Dragon Age 2 and I wasn't really much of a good Bioware game to begin with, and well, I gotta play some more. That yeah, that's for certain. But um, another game that <clears throat> that really does take pique my interest is a game called Sunset Overdrive. And honestly, the demo of it is really is really spectacular. It's from Insomniac Games, which I was surprised because they make Ratch the Ma the Ratchet and Clank games. It's so kind of odd, but still, uh, that it Sunset Overdrive is really. It's really cool, and I I really want to see that game in that in full action and everything. So I'm currently watching the EA conference right now, and um, well, they don't reveal much, but it exists. I guess it's coming up, maybe like the new Star Wars Battlefront, the new Mass Effect, the new um, I don't know more Bioware stuff, and our Red Sims. That's kind of disappointing for me, but yeah, it, I don't know. If you like Sims, then maybe I don't know. I don't. Well, I don't play Sims. Do I look like the guy that plays Sims? Do I look like the guy that can spend playing a lot of Sims, a lot of life simulators? When I like playing my own life, that doesn't wrong. But still, but man, I have no idea what's gonna happen. So I'm skimming through a lot of E3 stuff, uh, Microsoft with Microsoft and everything. Oh man. Oh, I see my egg number nine right now. Mmm. So yeah, new Halo stuff. More. Because I have, I'm not the Microsoft fanboy or anything, so I can't really. I can say I can care, I can care less, but I really need to know more. I just got off the raw. I just didn't get at the right timing to actually watch E3, so I'm gonna try to continue to watch the rest of this. So while uh, I skimmed through the rest of the Xbox and um, well, nothing really comes out of my mind to be honest. So um, unfortunately, I'm not really much of the like I said, I'm not the Microsoft fanboy or any of the. I'm indifferent with Microsoft to be honest, so I can't really say anything about it. And then EA is throwing up USC Sports right off the bat, so it's hilarious. And how is everyone showing hockey? <laughs> They're showing hockey now. <laughs> Oh god, this is not going to be fun! Many sports games later, we're having Mirror's Edge, I'm pretty sure. And games that aren't sports. And... Okay. I have like crackers in my mouth, so it'll be weird talking right now. 
Mm. Well, EA. I was bored as hell. Jesus Christ. Wow, that was boring. Oh my god. Wow, that was that was incredibly boring. I'm not gonna lie, that was incredibly really boring. Oh my god. Wow, like the only thing that was like slightly interesting was Battlefield Hardline, which is like which is like GTA like becoming so popular that now it's cops and robbers. I don't know, it's it's weird. It's like I don't know, I... It's... Yeah, I... <laughs> Whatever. I'm gonna wait till the next conference. By then... But till then, I'm gonna probably do some homework. God damn it! How did I get so bored with that? Now it's time for, uh, Ubisoft's fan, um... Uh... Thing conference. And, uh, they just showed off Far Cry 3. And, and it looks... Really cool. Really... Really interesting. Yeah, uh, I still have yet to play Far Cry 3, but... From this direction, it's probably gonna be just as good. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I'm gonna continue watching this. Like I got, like I have any idea. Okay, so they're showing Just Dance 2015. Well, I know a lot of people are are not, well, the biggest fans of Just Dance, but among me, Fee, and Justin, this looks okay. This looks okay. We're probably gonna get it. Like, oh, usual. So. Doesn't matter for us, but yeah, we always play it. Does like it, like it's uh, not that big of a deal. More Assassin's Creed Unity gameplay looks really impressive. <clears throat> uh, whenever I get a next gen system, I'll probably get it. Probably also need to get Assassin's Creed 4 because I haven't get, gotten that yet. But still, yeah, I have no idea what I'm gonna talk about now. You know, when it comes to Ubisoft, they only showed like three major games that feel like people will pay attention for. That'll be Far Cry 4, uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, and the new Rainbow Six game that I just recently forgot. And honestly, well, that's about it. Apparently, there, there, they are major titles that people will get excited about. Uh, honestly, when you get to it, it's us. Well. I can't really get excited as much, but it's still better than Microsoft and EA at the very least. So, now let's wait for Sony. So, it's time for the Sony conference, and uh, I am gathered with uh, some of the Double Africa Corner people, so we're gonna talk, uh, talk about some of the reactions and stuff, so, yeah. So, they just talked about some new uh, Killzone and Destiny uh, footage and that looks really promising for uh, for those FPS fans right there and well they're introducing a new IP some gameplay footage of the order 1882 and uh, a new and entwined uh, entwined looks pretty and same goes for the order I guess so yeah as soon as they ended uh, a DLC for uh, infamous they drop the ball and give us Little Big Planet 3, and it has like new different characters, and it's practically like Kirby's Return to Dreamland, like the character character basis into um, Little Big Planet, and it looks amazing, and it feels like the gameplay it has been heavily expanded and everything. So I am so I'm really excited. This is like a really good chance to actually sell some games or systems. We got some Far Cry 4. Uh... Gameplay and some Dead Island 2 announcement, and I haven't played Riptide, but I don't know. I have played the first one, and I did kind of enjoy it, so I don't know what Dead Island 2 would bring, so I don't know. Let's look forward to that. <laughs> so we just saw a Magicka 2 trailer, which is really hilarious. Check out that, that one. Check out that E3 trailer, please. It's really funny. There are a bunch of indie games coming out, and especially a few that really intrigue, that really in, that really did catch my attention, like a new Grim Fandango, uh, Hotline Miami 2, and so far, so uh, it's almost it's Sony's almost over, uh, so there's probably one more last reveal coming up. So there's a new Suda 51 game uh, called uh, Let It Die, uh, Abzu from the people who made a Journey, and now we have No Man's Sky, so that was like, interesting. <laughs> I have no idea. Plus, my Skype crashed, so I can't talk to my friends. So that is kind of demotivating. I don't know. It's it's been like this for a while. Skype keeps on crashing on me. I don't know. So um, 
new consoles and everything. Well, I mean, like, new stuff for the Vita. I'm still waiting for stuff. Apparently there's a new console coming out. Or it's something new. I don't know. I have no idea. I forgot to record. Oh, there's, comment for, there's gameplay of Mortal Kombat X. I am really excited for now. I'm really excited. I can't wait for this. It was, it's so in, it's so cool. Man. So he jumped from Mortal Kombat to not anything that's not a game. So I'm suddenly bored for some reason. Yeah, I, it probably is good. It's just, this is E3. It's a gaming convention. Why are there things that are not games? Well, that's what most of the comments say. But still, it can't, they do have a point where I'm still waiting for a goddamn game to play, to be revealed. Actually, they have the Resident Click movie. They just talked about the Resident Click movie, and to be honest, I take back what I just said. So, ah, I'm, I'm having fun to be honest. Well, Last of Us just had a remastered trailer, and there were a bunch of spoilers. And I don't know what to think, feel about it, so I'm just gonna go buy the try to get by the game before anything else happens. There's a new trailer for Metal Gear Solid uh, 5: Phantom Pain, and then a uh, reveal of Grand Theft Auto 5 coming to PlayStation 4, which is. Both pretty interesting, I would say. I know my commentary is not so great and everything, so I apologize, but still, it's just, I really, I am, I'm just watching all this stuff, so I can't really make a full on description and everything. Now we got some gameplay of Arkham Knight, so the Bat new Batman game, and it looks really, really damn cool. I really gotta start playing the Batman games now. I have a little, plenty of games to go through, but still, yeah. And they just revealed Uncharted 4. Eh, I haven't played many 90 Gun games. Like the, I only played Uncharted Golden Abyss, which was on the Vita. So I don't have much uh, Uncharted experience other than that. But I have seen some Uncharted. I have seen some Uncharted gameplay, but still, this looks interesting. Well, that was the end of the Sony conference. Apparently, uh, there wasn't any. Um, there was a lot of hit or miss uh, moments. This, this thing is like focusing. When it, I need to let it just. Well, anyways, there are a little hit, a lot of hit or miss moments, uh, especially with the fact that they haven't revealed anything about Kingdom Hearts three or Final Fantasy fifteen. But um, yeah, so ye so that's gonna be it. So thank you guys so much for watching. And tune in next time where I, whenever I have time, well, I'll talk about Nintendo and what and their E three stuff. So yeah.